Each one of us can build wealth, replace scarcity with abundance, replace average with greatness, replace uncertainty with conviction. Success is there for the taking. Small business owners, entrepreneurs, startups, and the ambitious. Grant Cardone tells you what you have to do to prosper in this new economy. He'll inform you in everything business, finance, and career related. Get ready. Find the knowledge for your success. It's all here, right now, in the Cardone Zone. Cardone here, Grant Cardone. We seem like we missed it right there. Beginning, Polly, you missed me, man. I'm so fast. I'm moving so fast today. You're in the Cardone Zone. Welcome to Grant Cardone in the Cardone Zone. Business, finance, career, money. Today we're talking about what you got to do to get your game all the way on. Uh, look, we do this show every Tuesday at one o'clock. I do this for you, for those of you who want to get out there are not satisfied, you know there's more available to you, you have more potential, you want to grow your business, you want to take care of your family. Um, look, this is a crazy world we live in right now. You need all the help, all of us. I need all the help I can get. I need to keep my tank full. I need to keep excited, and I need to get the right data. And hopefully here in the Cardone Zone, I will give you the right information you need. You can follow me on Twitter at Grant Cardone. Our phone number, if you want to be a caller, 305-865-8668. The lines are open, 305-865-8668. If you have trouble, remember that number. We already got a focus problem, okay? You got a focus problem. And today we're talking about how do you stay focused in this crazy world that we live in. This morning, I don't know if you follow CNBC, but Dennis Gartman, who was 100% invested in the stock market, just 30 days ago, went on CNBC and said, the bull market has turned. Get out of stocks now. He's gone from 100% invested to zero. Sam Zell, in the same program, one of the top 350 richest people in the world, we're we're cropped off a little bit there at the top there, Polly. See that? Might be the way the camera's set up. But he said, he said, I don't, know, I don't know why the stock market's going up. I have no idea why the stock market's going up. He says, I think we have accept, an accepted level of growth that is a long-term problem. This guy's 77 years old, showing up every day. One of the richest, one of the most influential real estate investors in the world, not just in the United States. He says, the U.S. economy is benign. Benign means not growing, Okay. He says the people, the entrepreneurs, the businesses, the people in it, the people working for you, check this out, have no animal aspirations, quote unquote. He says America is missing animal aspirations. On Twitter, if you got a question, you can hit me at Grant Cardone, just hashtag Cardone Zone. Our phone number 305-865-8668. And you're like, Grant. Why would I call you, man? I, I, I'm missing my animal aspirations. And or you're like, no, dude, I got my animal aspirations on. What does he mean when he says that? He's, this is what he says. He's a multi-billionaire, 77 years old, been through all the cycles. He says, look, I don't invest in anything. I don't invest in anything that if things got very difficult, I couldn't take over myself. What does this have to do with you? One word, control. Sam Zell, multi-billionaire, Dennis Gartman, a well-known investor, is telling you, get control of your business, get control of your family, get control of everything you can get control in at max levels. And if you've ever been called a, called a control uh, freak, notice, notice our society now labels control as a bad thing. Here's Sam Zell, one of the richest people in the world, 77 years old, one of the most successful real estate investors in the world, telling you, I don't invest in anything that if things got very difficult, I couldn't take over myself. 
So what's this got to do with you? Everything. One word, control. Okay, control. How do you get control? How do you get more control? And does more control mean that you would do better? I suggest to you that it means you want control, that control is a good thing, not a bad thing. While our society suggests that control freak, you're a control freak. Dude, why wouldn't you want control? I want control of my business. I want control of my finances. Okay? So the way to get control, if you've ever been at a place in your life where I'm like, man, I have no idea where to start, Grant. Where do I start? How do I get more control of my company? How do I get more control of sales? How do I get more control of my employees? Look, if you're trying to improve any condition in life, the place to start is with the point of origin. The point of origin. What is the point of origin? With me, it's me. Okay? It's me. My attitude. My smile. My brand. My phones. My computer. Okay? My desk. My customers, it's me. It's not the government. It's not CNBC. It's not the economy. It's me. You want to focus on you. The closer you can get to the hub, to the hub, the origin, the better, the more control you can have. It doesn't matter whether you're trying to lose weight or make money. It's all the same. Look, at 25 years old, I have no money. I'm in debt. I'm coming out of a treatment facility, okay, for drug addiction, I'm freaking completely lost. I don't have friends. I don't have the same friends. I can't hang out with my old friends who were never friends anyway. They were really enemies of mine trying to keep me on drugs. And how do I get started again? Hey, man, how do you do? You, you started a point of origin. I can't, I can't handle all the crazy stuff, the debt collectors. I got, I got the, the government asking for money. I, got, I have to rebuild my client. If you've ever started from zero, if you've ever been scared to death, if you've ever been lost and don't know where to go, that's what I had to do. I had to start over from zero. And how do I do that? I got to get control of one thing. I was on a, a radio show this morning, 880 uh, uh, AM. It's a Miami business radio show. And they're like, hey, what would you do to change Miami? I'd like, dude, I would start at the point of origin. At the point of origin. Now, politicians never do this. The, the, the politician says what? We need more skills. We need to educate our people. Dude, look, you, if you're trying to get control of your business and grow your business or get control of your family and grow your family or make sure you have more money in the bank, you can't start with skills. you got to start with what you have because building skills will take too long. How do you change Miami, Grant? What would you do? I'd start at the airport. See, I keep things simple. I would start at the point of origin. I would start at the airport. Why would I start at the airport? Because everybody's got to go. Dude, to get to Miami, you got to go to the airport unless you're in Cuba and you're swimming here. Okay, you got to go through the airport. What would I do in the airport? What I would do at the airport is I would basically change the attitudes of the people there. I would basically do one thing. You must smile to work here. You must be nice to work here. You must talk to every person that gets off of every plane, walks out of every cafe, walks through every TSA security check. You must be the happiest people in the world or you will lose your job here. My name's Grant Cardone. You're in the Cardone Zone. We're talking about how to control your business. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Are you looking for the keys to success? Are you not sure how to break out and move forward in your life? If you are asking these questions, you need a way to take massive action, a way to develop the right attitude, the right approach, every minute of every day. The Grant On The Go 4 book MP3 package is the solution. Included are all four of Grant Cardone's best-selling books, Download to one device or to all of them. With over 30 hours of content designed for sales, closing, finance, and career, with special exercises to ensure you know the data. Grant on the Go is narrated by Grant Cardone himself, a personal coach for sales, motivation, negotiations, keeping your pipeline full with no blank space on your calendar. An $800 value. On sale now for $249.99. Order now at grantcardone.com forward slash grant on the go. This is a million dollar program. Go to grantcardone.com forward slash grant on the go. Be productive, take action, and make the moves that are vital to your success. Order now at grantcardone.com forward slash grant on the go today. Welcome back to the Cardone Zone. Grant Cardone in the Cardone Zone. Hashtag Cardone Zone. At Grant Cardone on Twitter. We're talking about control. Control. I want you to have more control of your business, your finances. I never want to be a slave 
I want to be the master of my universe. Do you? I want to control my business. I want to control my marriage. I want to control my family. I want to control my kids. I want to control my environment so it's predictable. So when the rest of the world is going crazy, when the politicians are going nuts, because that's their job, to go freaking nuts, to waste your money and my money, uh, when they're doing that, I don't want to be susceptible. Look, I went through this in 2008. I almost busted out. Okay, I saw the whole world cave in, tide going out, economy collapsing, money's frozen, assets are frozen. I'm like, this will never happen to me again. I want control. I want control. You live in a world that is out of control right now, out of control spending, out of control politicians, out of control regulations. Sam Zell, one of the richest men in the world, saying to you right now, I will not invest in a company I can't step into when it gets tough, when it gets difficult, and take control of that. There's no animal aspirations. The public is missing what it takes to grind it out. Okay, folks, the stock market, we got people bailing out of it this morning. It's down three or 400 points in the last couple of days. Okay, what are you doing? I don't care about the stock market. You know why? Because I'm not invested in it. Why? Because I can't control it. What I'm invested in is my company. Okay, today, like Maryland, this week, Maryland comes up and says, okay, we're going to pass the minimum wage thing. We're going to go minimum wage. Second state does minimum wage. They, they, they claim, check it out, this is why I want you to be in control. We're going to 1010. I don't know why. What, what's the deal with the 1010 number? I have no clue. $10 and 10 cents. Dude, keep the dime. I, 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 don't, I, I throw dimes on the, on, the, on the ground now. I mean, I know homeless people that throw them away. They're like, I don't even want it, dude. It's a distraction to my quarters. So check it out. Maryland, second state to pass the minimum wage. And they say we're going to 1010. Poof, noise. Now, if the economy is so good, okay, and unemployment's going down, why do you have to offer a minimum wage? Why would Maryland pass this as a second state? But here, before you before you say that's a good thing, because the president has said that everyone should follow Maryland's lead. Before before you make a decision on this, check out the details. Okay, because this is how you're being deceived. This is how you get tricked to not being in control because you think other people have control. First of all, the 1010, when does the 1010 start? Okay, well, it doesn't start till 2018. What, what year are we in? I thought we were in 2014. Okay, they go from seven and a quarter to eight dollars in 2015. That doesn't start for another seven, eight months. And that's a 70, 75 cent bump. Then each year, $8 an hour, January 1, 2015, eight and a quarter on July 1st, 50 cent increments in 16 and 17, okay? The, the movie, the ticket, the, the, the price of Avatar that comes out next year will be up more than a dollar by the time you get there. The president comes out and says, the Maryland legislature did, did the right thing. If I had bigger ears, he did the right thing. The president said in a statement after the passage, he added, Congress should follow Maryland's lead and ensure that no state, no person is not getting the higher minimum wage. A little more detail you need before you give up control to these freaking baboons. I know somebody won't like me saying that. Maryland, the Maryland bill exempts restaurants. <laughs> the Maryland bill exempts restaurants, okay? Look, where does minimum wage at? It's in restaurants, okay? The, the, the restaurants are exempted. Any restaurant that makes less than 400 grand a year is exempt from paying minimum wage, okay? Also, check this out. Tipped restaurant workers, waiters, are exempt and do not qualify for the minimum wage, okay? The higher wages and freezes their minimum wage. Check this out. What do you guys here in the studio think that a minimum wage, fair minimum wage for a waiter would be under this new 1010 bill? Huh? No. How about $3.63? This is the, the, the data you're not reading. So the waiter says what? Oh, yeah, I'm going to keep doing my waiting thing, and I'm going to keep good, and I'm good, and I'm all good, and everything's good. Dude, look, you're not in control. If any of this is your concern, if you go and you buy a purse this weekend, and it hurts your wallet. Look, income, uh, uh, spending is not your problem. The coach bag was not your problem. The problem is your income. You don't have control of income. John's on the phone from New Jersey. John, how you doing? Hey, Grant, what's up? Good, buddy. How you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? 
John, hey, would you, good. I'm doing great, brother. Would you like John more control or less control in your business and in your life? More control. All right, my man. What's your question? Uh, my question is uh, your your topics on focus and how to stay focused and control your business. <clears throat> I'm having a lot of trouble focusing and staying staying in control of my business and in such a negative environment, you know, where your family doesn't really believe in you or they say they do, but you can just really tell that they just don't really want to see you succeed and they don't think you're going to. Yeah, I know, I know, I know the feeling, bro. I gave, I gave my family a lot of reasons not to believe in me. You know, I don't know if you've given them any reasons. Have you? Uh, I guess it's my lack of consistency, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So you get, you, you get interested in something and then you drop it. Yeah. I have, I guess we could say I have a lot of problems committing. Yeah, yeah. So what, dude? Who who doesn't? How old are you? 19. Yeah, bro. Look, we all got problems with it, okay? And after a period of, you know, they've been going, they've been watching you for 19 years, say you were going to do something and didn't do it. That's what every kid does. I got a four-year-old that's already doing that. I mean, you know, I got to watch to be sure she actually picks up. She loses interest in it and wants to go play and do something else. Don't blame her and don't blame you. But at 19 years old now, you got to say, hey, do I want to be like the rest of my buddies? Or because man, your your generation, your generation is going to have so many problems that you, your parents didn't have, and your parents are probably just concerned. So this is what I would do, man, to get more control. Since you want more control, is pick something. Start with you. What can you control in your life? What can you control? And the way to do that is because you can't control everything. You start with the point of origin. The point of origin in this case is you. What can you control, dude? What can you do every day? What's one thing that you love that you can say, dude, I know for sure I will do this every single day of my life and I'll do it great. What would that be? Uh, I like to travel. You like to travel? Yeah. All right. Yeah, but you ain't got any money, dog. You can't do that. Let's pick something that you do already every day. You do. You normally do every day. You're like, yeah, I can do that. We got to pick something that doesn't cost anything. Speaking. You like to speak. Yes. Okay, good, man. This is what I want you to do today. I want you to talk to everybody that you pass, every single person. Hello, how you doing? How you doing? Hello, how you doing? Build that one muscle to say, I'm going to talk to every single person that passes by me. That way you start to exert control over not people passing you, but now you say, hey, I'm going to communicate with everybody. John, what I want you to do is just pick one thing, two things that you can start controlling and building the muscle and creating the consistency in your family. You don't need to convince your family of anything, bro. You, you, your family's going to see something change, I guarantee you. My name's Grant Cardone. You're in the Cardone Zone, folks. Every week I come here to talk to you about your career, your business, and your finances. Today I'm telling you, get control. Okay, not politics. It's not minimum wage. It's not the economy. It's your control. Control you. Control your business. Control your brand, your phones, your smile. Control. Can I see the smile again? By the way, you did the chimpanzee at the wrong time. I'm talking about Obama. He pops up. Look, man, can you even smile? Look, if I could just do this in the Miami airport, one of those people not satisfied. I would change this city if just that could be smile uh, changed with the TSA. Because I know it's not going to happen in Chicago, New York. It's not going to happen at LaGuardia. It won't happen in New Jersey. It won't happen in L.A. or Chicago. So why not just get the TSA agents? That's what most of them look like. They just don't smile. Give me some tea, dog. Give me some tea. Give me a little tea. Give me a little. <laughs> hey, man, we happy here in Miami. Welcome to Miami. Thanks for coming to Miami. Stay with me. This is Cardone's own Grant Cardone. Are you one of those people not satisfied with good? If you're at $100 and want to go to 100000 or if you're at $1 million and want to achieve $10 million, it's time to change your game. When are you going to make the move? If you want more freedom, if you want more choices in your life, then Grant Cardone's MP3 Game Changer Package is for you. It's the 10X Rule. The Rules of Success and Seller Be Sold was narrated by Grant Cardone himself. Learn to go from nothing to everything. From being unknown to being known worldwide, Grant wants you to have your freedom and to achieve your highest potential. A $700 value on sale now for $179.99. 
Grant Cardone came from nothing and is now a multi-millionaire. The information contained in this package got him there. You need the tools, the inspiration, the guidance, and the technique to achieve your potential. Order now at grantcardone.com forward slash game changer. That's grantcardone.com forward slash game changer. Always be moving forward. Find your freedom and your opportunity. Order your game changer MP3 package today. Hey, welcome back. Grant Cardone in the Cardone Zone. Every week we come to you to talk to you about your business, your finances, your career. What are you going to do to get control of it? How do you get control? Is control a good thing? Dude, look, I want to be master of my universe. Okay, do not kid yourself. I want to be the baddest freaking animal in the jungle. I want to be the guy that is feared in the marketplace. I want my wife, my kids, my employees to know that guy's the go-to guy. If this building comes apart, hey, Grant, what do we do? I want control. And you need control of your finances. You need control of your business. You need control of your, your uh, p- plan. What's the plan? Sam Zell, multi-billionaire, 77 years old, is telling you this morning on CNBC, I couldn't stop watching it. The old man, he's been around for years. He says, look, there's no reason for the stock market to go up. America has accepted a level of growth that is a long-term problem. The U.S. economy is benign. There are no animal aspirations. He says, I don't invest in anything that if things got very difficult, I couldn't take over myself. Okay? I want to be able to own it, control it, and take it over myself. That means if you're starting a business, you're getting in a business, you're managing employees, you need to be in control. Somebody's got to be in control. Otherwise... The zoo, can I see my chimpanzee? They'll be all over the place. They'll be running all over the place, pump, throwing poop on people. Do you Look, you got to have a cage. You got to have some barriers. You got to have some rules and some policies. Where do you start? This is where you start, with you. With you. Uh, that ad that you saw before here about uh, the training package, the $179 training package, that's a way to start. That's what turned my life around. There was a guy that sold me a $3,000 training package to become a salesperson. Changed my life. Why? Because I was getting in control of me for the first time. And when I started worrying about me, I started worrying about other people less. I quit making excuses about the employees or the, the, the other coworkers. I quit making excuses about the customer. I quit making excuses about the economy. And I took control of me first. Then my business. What is my business? Who is my business? What's my brand, number three? Control your brand. Like, if you watch me on Facebook, watch my fan page on Facebook, I control that brand. I don't delegate that to other people. I've been working that page for years now, so when other people get involved in it, they know what I'm looking for. Notice the quotes. Notice the positive. uh, Notice the branding. Notice the messages. I'm using Facebook and Twitter and YouTube to brand myself. I want to control my brand regardless of the economy. Control your attitude. How do you control your attitude? Look, it, it is a separator by itself. Just having a positive attitude can separate you from everybody else in the marketplace. It's so easy to see in our office. Do you guys agree? When we have somebody that has a negative attitude here, I'm like, oh, dude, the guy doesn't fit in. You either got to get in or you don't, man. A bad attitude, when you got an environment that's got a lot of positive people in it, the bad guys just start kind of waning themselves off. I got Mike from Jacksonville, Florida. Talk to me, Mike. Hey, Grant. How's it going, son? Good, brother. How you doing? I'm doing well, brother. I just had a quick question for you. Um, if you are in a situation where you've been with a company for a, a period of time, you've built an organization, you've, you've kind of built up a culture and some relationships there, but you found out that and, and you, you've got interest in another company of building multiple streams of income, but you found out the uh, company A was holding you back, and then they said you couldn't do that. Um, and, but you knew there was money in both places. If you were in that situation, what would you do? Uh, well, uh, without having all the data, um, you know, look, man, I stayed in a deal till I was 29 years old. Um, I'm, glad, I'm glad I stayed into it, but it, it reached a point to where one day I, I didn't actually quit. They, they, they let me go because I wanted to exert more control than they would allow me to exert. I, I went to the guy that owned the place and I said, look, I, I happen to know that the guy that you have in charge here is stealing from you. And he's like, mind your own business. And that was just the the straw that broke the camel's back. I was like, okay, I'll go mind my own business. I walked over to the, to, to the other office where I officed. I put all my stuff in a box and I walked out and I never saw him again. They were out of business nine months later. 
<laughs> I guess you left. So, yeah. Now, I left without a job. I didn't have a job. Didn't have a place to go. Didn't know where I was going to go. I don't know that that was smart. I don't know that I would do that again. But I had some money. I had a little bit of money saved. I'd been making money. First, make money. You know, control the income flow first. Then I was controlling how much money I would spend. And now... Uh, thank God I had some money. Thank thank God I controlled the income and the outflow because now I was out of work. And and I got a little hot-headed that day and just said, I'm out of here. Um, and I went and took on an adventure in my life and went and uh, went started work uh, for myself. It took three years to really make any money. But I don't, you know, looking back now, 27 years later, 30 years later, I don't regret it. Um Look, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to make your stand one day. It sounds like you're not happy there. It sounds like there's a lot of egos involved, and people want to do what they want to do, and people don't want to change. Everybody's in that scene. I think you just got to pick what you can control, and I know for sure you can control you. Understood. I appreciate that. Yeah. What time does John, What time does uh, Mike get up in the morning? What time does Mike go to sleep at night? What does Mike wear to work every day? How does Mike smile at people? How does he treat his customers? You know what? To hell with the other seven billion people on this planet, dude. Look, one point four billion of them are freaking nutcases. At least twenty percent of the population has got to be a freaking wacko. Okay. I'm worried about me. Okay. First, me, me and my life. Okay. So when Sam Zell, when I'm watching this cat Sam Zell this morning on CNBC. He's, this is what he says. The economy is not confident. I have no confidence in the U.S. economy, even though things are getting better. He says he doesn't get it. He does not get the correlation between the stock market going up and what people are saying like, oh, let, let's give us uh, some uh, minimum wage. If the stock market's that good and if companies are doing that good, why do the minimum wage thing? And when they do do the minimum wage thing, what does it really mean? It means you're not getting any money until like 2015. And when you do get that money, Two, three years from now, what do you get? $2 bump? Dude, $2 bump isn't a, a, a control. And by the way, there's only about a million and a half people in the United States of America. Out of 311 million, there's only a million and a half people on minimum wage. See, the politicians jerk you around. They pretend to be in control. Then you hear this whole thing about housing. I got to get a house, okay? This is what Zell says. And he Zell, Zell's a big real estate guy. This feels like the housing market of 2006. I'm on the phone last night. This feels like the housing market of 2006. What was going on in 2006? Got to buy a house, got to buy a house, got to buy a house, get your house, get your house. I was on the phone last night with two brokers. One of them's telling me, you got to get a house grant. You got to do it right now. I hang up with the chick. She's one of the leading real estate agents here in, here, here in Miami. I told my wife, I said, dude, they're selling the scarcity thing so hard. Scarcity. The market's going up. You got to get it now. Folks, you don't need to do that. You're out of control. Look, I would rather miss the housing market and be in control. Do you understand? That's how valuable control is. Look, do you even have control on your financial statement? Is that an asset? Control is an asset for me. I have control. Okay, I can go have a glass of wine. I'm not going to have four bottles. I'm not going to get a DUI. I'm not going to get in trouble. I have control. Okay, you need control. Everybody feels right now that they can't afford to miss this housing bubble, this recovery. And he says, Zell says, we're experiencing the same level exuberance, wouldn't be a good word when you're investing, in the stock market and in the housing market, and you want to stay out of it. So what you miss it? Buying a house will not get you rich. Buying a house will not get you rich. Investing in the stock market will not get you rich. And minimum wage is for slaves. What you need is control. How do you get control? Start with the origin. What's the origin? You. When do I wake up in the morning? What shirt do I put on? Do I work out every day? How am I taking care of myself? What am I doing to reach another customer? Start with me. Forget everybody else. Do not worry about your wife, the kids, the teachers, the educational system, the community. I'm telling you, get selfish, dude. In the beginning, when you're trying to put things back together... When you're going to go from zero to hero, you start with the origin. What are your assets? Who are you? What's your control? Where do you start? How do you get started? My name's Grant Cardone. You're in the Cardone Zone. Every week, every week I come here to talk to you about your business, your finances. Today I'm talking to you about control. I got Jeremy Mitchell. Hey, how do you build an organization on Twitter? Jeremy Mitchell uh, Mitchell is Limitless253. How do you build an organization if you don't have the influence that those you want to do business with. Jer Jeffrey, you go get control of those customers. Pick one of them, okay? 
If you don't have influence to those that you want to do business with, you got to get influence. You have to get control. You know, maybe show up at their office before they're there. Send them a card. Make a uh, send them a phone call. Maybe call them three times in a day. Maybe go visit them. Send them a package. Send them a present. Dude, you got to do something. Blog about that person. Write an article about his company. You have to get control of that customer. Cindy, City Girl Cindy, with a Y, C Y N D I, Act forgot. Cardone Zone was at 12 o'clock Central Standard Time, not one. Glad to catch the second half. Cindy, thanks for following the show. Keith Witherspoon retweeted Try this. Pick something you can do every day. One thing. I can do every day. For instance, this week, I'm just focused on my one uh, youngest daughter, Scarlett. I take her to Starbucks every morning. I take her either to the Eden Rock Starbucks or I take her to the one up at um, Bow Harbor. And every morning we do that. I create that as a stable discipline, not for Scarlett, dude. I'm not doing it for Scarlett. I'm doing it for me. It gives me a sense of control. Okay, John Haydukka. That's Jay Ducka on Twitter. Thanks for taking my call and answering my questions. You got it, brother. Jacob Shackleford in Royal Solutions followed me here on Twitter and watching the show. John Carlos Martinez, Jeff Flores, Alexander Will Hodge, Wayne Weathersby, fixing to blow the doors off this joint 10X style, and he's reading the 10X book. This week, folks, just to give you some updates on what's happened, if you want more control in your life, control the content. What are you reading? What are you studying? What are you learning? What are you listening to? Our YouTube channel has 1,100 videos, 1,100 videos that you could start getting positive content to control the way you think, the way you act, and what you do every day in business. This book this week, just so you know, Sell or Be Sold, if you haven't gotten on that book, uh, the number one awarded best-selling sales and business book in 2013 by Axiom Awards is now being translated into the largest language on planet Earth, Mandarin, Chinese. I don't even know how you say it in Chinese. Do you guys know? I forgot after our our meeting this morning. All right, my name's Grant Cardone. On Twitter, I'm at Grant Cardone. The YouTube channel's Grant Cardone. If you haven't subscribed to the channel to do it, folks, the government is giving you a sense of control that they don't have. Okay, they spend too much money. They overregulate. The only person that's going to have control is you, 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 and you, and that's it. If you're average, you're going to pay the price. If you're exceptional, you'll succeed. Notice that the top 20% of the earners in this country who earn 80% of all the money don't get any handouts from the government, none. The people that are doing best get the least, and the people that are doing worse on this planet, the worst people, the people that are suffering the most are the people taking the most handouts because they lose control with the handout. My name's Grant Cardone. If you have questions, you can hit me at Mobia Insider. Mobio Insider is a way to tweet me a question, and I'll actually answer your questions at, at MobiaInsider.com. Also, check out Regis USA. At Regis USA. I'm going to be doing some work for Regis. That's a place for you to get your first office creation off-site Um, so that you don't have to go invest in a big office and a facility. If you don't have the capitalization to do that, check out Regis USA, Miami, Florida. Okay. If you're in Miami beach, Miami beach in the next two weeks, I'm going to be in, in town for the next two weeks. If you're down here and you want to have a cup of coffee, you're welcome to come to our offices anytime. 371st street, Miami beach, Florida. What do we have? What else we got guys? We're talking about control. You want control? Okay. Control what? What do you control first? You. Okay. Control your brand. Control your business. Control your customers. Control your phones. Control your attitude. Control your smile today. Can I get the smile in chimpanzee? Dude, control that. Look, if you could just do that all day with every customer, if that's all that happened at the Miami airport, you know, hey, thanks. I don't know what they, the, the Russian family's coming in, then a Cuban family's coming in, and then a Portuguese family's coming in, and then some, some Jewish people from New York. If they all got that, that smile right there transcends every language, every barrier, every problem to every person. If the only thing the Miami airport did was just smile. Thanks for visiting Miami. Thanks for coming to the Miami airport. Thanks for coming to MIA. Thanks for coming through our airport. Do you know that I had come to this city for 20 years? 20 years. The only thing I knew about Miami was that airport. 
And what I knew is this. I never live in Miami just because of the airport. It's a freaking dump. And I wasn't talking about the facility. I was talking about the way the people treated me. They didn't look at me. They didn't talk to me. They didn't make me feel welcomed. Everybody's speaking a different language, so I'm already put off a bit. Dude, do this. Smile. Smile until people think there's something freaking wrong with you, okay? Look, you, don't you want to throw a quarter at that chimpanzee? Look at those bright eyes and that big smile, even though his teeth are yellow. By the way, if you use that big smile, fix your gums and make sure your teeth are white. This is Grant Cardone. You're in the Cardone Zone. Stay with us. And also, subscribe to the channel. Hit like. Comment. I actually read the comments, even the hateful ones. I love you haters. I love my haters. Hey, look, be great. Nothing else pays. Wait and see what I do this year. It's going to be freaking over the top crazy, okay? Show me some love. Come on now. I want to talk to you today about success. What you're learning here will go with you for the rest of your life. You're getting me excited right now. If you're average, you'll hate me. Being able to live where you want requires that you produce even when you don't want to. Every day they're freaking out there. Every day I'm hustling. Saying, hey man, I want to put my hustle on. In the hustle country of the planet, America, the great USA. Hey, Grant Cardone here, New York Times bestselling author and your friend in sales and in business. That's right, in business. So you want to scream about it? You want to bitch, complain? Go ahead. This is the worst job market in the history of the United States of America. The truth is, get back to promise and hope followed up with work. Completely committed, completely dedicated. It's not work, it's a passion. Turn that camera on. Is it loaded? Do you have battery in it? Turn it on and follow me. It's a Wi-Fi hotspot. Mmm. What does that mean, man? Okay. We, could, we right? could Skype. We could do whatever you want. All right. I can do a video here, man. Yeah, hey, come on, man.